The thing that drove home to me how much George brings to his story is when we did Future Imperfect, I had a sequence, it's set like 80 years in the future, and I had a sequence in there in which the Hulk walks into the uh, trophy room that's being maintained by Rick Jones. And uh, what I said in the plot was, the these things have to be in the trophy room, because I was thinking ahead to the next issue. We need Captain America's shield, the Silver Surfer's board, Wolverine's adamantium skeleton, and Thor's hammer. And everything else, you know, anything else you want to put in, feel free. And what he drew <laughs> was this thing, which has like a hundred different things in there. And it's insane. I mean, I actually wound up having a contest in one of my column in Comic Buyer's Guide, in which people were invited to write in and try and identify every single thing in here. And it's insane. I mean, it's got Archie Andrews's Riverdale sweater. <laughs> it's got Crow T Robot from Mystery Science Theater. I mean, it's just insane. And that really made very clear to me how much George brings to the party.